It's important to have the society of the grandmothers because they are truly the backbone of our people. We have created a sense of what a Dakota society does. Those are our principles and our guiding light. We have created a 50-year strategic plan. It includes the ending of violence in our communities. It includes a fully functional Dakota, Nakota, Lakota language in our communities, healthier families, and self-sufficiency with culture as the base. It's important to know who you are and where you came from in order to know your future. When I get there, it's like everybody's talking, having a good time, and just learn a lot of stuff. And my grandma's always there too, so I go with her all the time. Just learn more things about my culture. And I always get to play lacrosse and have fun. This is how we used to live a long time ago. I mean, there wasn't any gangs or violence or drugs. There was just the game and playing outside and just a happy land. I should now start playing lacrosse today. The reason why it's so exciting because it's been in our tradition for a long time. Lacrosse has brought me closer to my culture in many ways. It brought me back to the old days and the old ways. Lacrosse has taught me to be a wise, respectful, kind young man. And that's all I want for other tribes out there, other kids. One of the first things I learned about lacrosse was originally a native game. It was a substitute to war, sometimes called the little brother to war. It's taught me to respect others and treat them the way I want to be treated. We have become mindful of all the ceremonies that follow a person's life in the old Dakota system of care. The first ceremony was before birth, welcoming the spirit while the spirit was still in the womb. So all through their lives, these ceremonies and these rites or passages are little street lamps or little fires that are shining them as they progress to the last ceremony of their life, which is when they pass to the spirit world. The grandmothers teach the younger girls what they were taught by their own grandmothers. About two years ago, Kushi Faith invited me to the coming of age ceremony, Shnati. I went through, I learned a lot. Anytime she needs my help, she always calls me and I'm always willing to help. I'd like for the women in my community to know that if they're experiencing troubles in their life, that this is always a place where they could come and the Kunshis are always more than willing to help. You learn a lot from our elders. You talk to the elders, they tell you things they've been through. You learn how to be, you learn how to introduce yourself, you learn how to sing. Basically, you learn how to become a woman. Our words are medicine, they're not just describing things. Our Dakota language is how we move the spirit in our ceremonies. If we lose our language, we lose our ceremonies. And if we lose our ceremonies, we lost our identity. Braveheart has really helped me learning more about our culture, learning more of the language, and learning more of our history. Braveheart society affects our community because it gets our youth involved with the elders, and it brings the youth to learn about their culture and what we do. Just getting to spend more time with the people and ceremony, picking up more parts of our culture that I would otherwise have missed out on. Don't forget about the ways of our people and always be open to learning new things and having that knowledge so you can teach others about our ways. Braveheart is a beautiful way to share our culture and language and stories. Braveheart does a lot of good work, bringing the culture back to the people. Let's do a lot of really good work for the people. If you open that teepee flap and say, come in, and they feel the warm fire, they like what they hear, maybe they like that song, or they even say, I know some songs, and then they'll come and they'll offer to sing. There's a lot of people who do have answers out there. They just need to feel safe enough to come in. And I think that's what we've learned is that the biggest thing that is going to combat this trauma in our communities is a sense of safety. Duck shocking. Goodbye.